My name is Annie Ryu, and I'm the founder and CEO of The Jackfruit Company. I was part of the first class of Global Good Fund Fellows. Well, I founded the company when I was a college student. My brother and I were working on a healthcare venture together in India. And my first day there, I saw jackfruit, which is the world's biggest fruit that grows on trees. It's native to India, um, super abundant there, can be over 100 pounds. Yeah, it's like the size. Um, and it was primarily going to waste because farmers didn't have a connection to a market. And so I saw an opportunity to convert this underutilization and wastage of this incredible natural resource um, to convert that to income for farming families and delicious, nutritious food. So Annie got busy through the Global Good Fund and the help of others and now she has developed a market here in the United States for her product. Today we are the leading jackfruit brands, um, definitely in the U.S., potentially also globally. We're expanding very quickly. Um, we are in over 3,500 stores um, in retail, and we have rapidly growing demand in food service, meaning like restaurants, universities. On the consumer side, we're providing a healthy food product, but that's also helping to reduce consumption of meat. So it's a meat alternative that's very rich in fiber. The average consumer gets less than half the amount of fiber we're supposed to have on a daily basis. So it's helping to correct for a natural deficiency in the American diet and increasingly a deficiency in diets around the world. Um, also, by reducing consumption of meat, this is not just um, you know, something slightly better than, than meat um, from a planetary perspective. This is something that grows on trees. And if we start running out of it, like plant more trees, meat consumption, deforestation are two of the top 10 causes for global warming right now. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the founding element of this, why I created this at the beginning, was to just create added income for farming families at a transformative level. We're estimated to be contributing 10 to 40 percent of the annual income of the farming families that we work with by buying um, in tremendous volumes this fruit that was otherwise going to waste. The Global Good Fund has been there for me um, in times when you know, things were not going well. For example, I was pre-med um, throughout my college years um, and of course for the many years before I went to college and um, I had no idea how difficult this building this company was going to be when I started out. I thought that I was going to be able to build this company and also go to medical school. Um, which I did do for one semester at Harvard Med and I had to drop out because um, this company needed all of my time. Obviously, um, you know, my, my family uh, really want me to really wanted me to go to medical school and that had a that was a tremendous weight pulling me in that direction. Um, they, as very meaningful uh, members in my in my life, um, did not have a background in entrepreneurship, did not understand what I was doing, and the Global Good Fund um, has always, um, you know, understood that what I'm doing, specifically in terms of being in the food industry or whatever, that's that's not it. It's about how can you make the biggest difference. I see this as um, my biggest opportunity to change the world for the better. Working with her and watching her choose a course of changing the world through social entrepreneurship was a very gratifying and exciting and exhilarating process. It's one of the coolest parts of my life to be able to see her come into her own, seeing how Annie has grown into that role of a CEO with the maturity and the maintenance of that vision and purpose, continued the hard work that made real results happen. It's what the Global Good Fund's all about. I'm kind of reminded of the African proverb. It's like, if, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, let's go together. See, I'm convinced that as we move along together, I'm talking real growth. I'm not talking just making it one day and out of business and make, but this real growth and real sustainability. Um, and being part of a community that supports that and invests in that um, has just had a tremendously positive impact.